Hello, welcome to the show. Hello, how are you guys? Good, Hi. how are you? I'm very, very good. I appreciate you guys for allowing me to come on and share my story. No Absolutely. problem. Absolutely, thank you for calling. Okay, so do I just go ahead and tell it? or? Yeah, so we're ready. <laughs> All right, so um, I've always had spiritual gifts. I've been like a medium like my whole entire life, ever since I was a little child. I grew up in a family as the black sheep, and I never thought that that was my real family because I was so out of place, and they did like abuse me. Mm. Okay, so one day, the divine told me to just like pack my things and leave St. Louis because that's where I was raised. They told me to leave St. Louis in the middle of the night, and I did. I just want to throw a side note in that my family that raised me are prominent members of society. They are like police officers, lawyers, mm. like generational, like doctors, mm. nurses, yep. you know. Um, so while I did my traveling, I stayed gone for like six years because the family didn't really treat me right. I was like in Atlanta, and I was in Alabama. My last little trip on my road trip was in Alabama, and I ended up going back to St. Louis, right? I was home for about two months, and then there was a death in my family, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when people die, uh, stuff comes out, mm -hmm. right? Always. Always. So, yeah, so the person that died was who I was raised to believe was my auntie. I went to the funeral. I had only been gone for six years. It was very weird. The people there, like my uncles, my auntie, people that I grew up with, they didn't recognize me. And I had only been gone for six years. I'm like, what? Like, you don't remember me? Like, you know? So that was very, very weird. Mm -hmm. After she died, I kind of like disassociated myself again from my family. I only came back with them because of the death in the family, right? And then I was visited by Papa Legba. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys, are you guys familiar with Papa yeah. Legba? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So um, that wasn't the first time that I was visited by Papa Legba. Um, I actually have videos on me being visited, my, all my spiritual experiences with these deities and how they just come to me out of nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. So he came to me in the room with my deceased aunt and my inner child into the room with me, okay? And I have evidence of everything that I'm about to say, and it can be looked up on YouTube. I compiled all the evidence and everything, okay? Mm -hmm. So you guys can do your research if you want to do your research. It is a serious story, and this is my real life, and this really happened, okay? Mm -hmm. So... They come into the room with me, and this is like December 4th, 2022. I'm in my room, and Papa Legba comes in. He comes with my, my, my inner child outside of me, separate from me. Like, that's me, but I could see right. that, and then I could see Papa Legba, and then I could see my deceased auntie, and I've always been able to see my ancestors and hear them, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so he comes in, and he says, not only did the family steal from you, they stole you. Because when I was younger, somebody left me an inheritance in this family or whatnot. And I never got it, mm -hmm. right? So they, he told me, not only did they steal from you, they stole you. So I'm like, Papa Legba, you have to be playing with me. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, I said, Papa Legba, if, I, if you're telling me the truth, I need physical evidence and I need to find myself on a missing child flyer. And he said, yes, you're going to find yourself on a missing child flyer. So at that moment when he was telling me that, he put in my mind, because I have visions as well, the Grady hospital he said type in grady hospital like he wanted me to get on google and type it in so i typed in the grady hospital and the grady twins from the shining came up right mm -hmm. the grady twins that was mm -hmm. their name right and then i'm like okay so kids the grady hospital and then he told me to look up no so as i was typing in the grady hospital i'm sorry this is like very emotional for me okay no, no, no. so ahead, as i was typing in the grady hospital okay thank you as i was typing in the grady hospital uh, the Grady six popped up. You know how you type something in Google and then as you're typing it, it kind of predicts yep. what you're about to say. Mm -hmm. The Grady six popped up. So the Grady six pops up and I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm realizing, okay, well then maybe I'm, I'm a Grady six baby. I'm a Grady baby. And that was where the kidnappings that happened the late seventies and, um, onto the like late eighties in Atlanta, Georgia, right? Those mm -hmm. are the kidnappings. Okay. So when I did my research, I'm like, there's only one child left from the grady six that has not been found yeah. and it's a guy right it's, it's, it's a guy it's not me right so papa legba tells me to click on the story and the child that has not been found is tavis sutton the missing child tavis sutton as soon as i click on it i know this guy i know him i grew up with him you know what i'm saying i grew Wait up with this minute. guy hold on and hold i'm on, looking hold at on. hold on hold okay. on 
You looked up the dude, and it was the guy that you grew up with. What was his name? Yes. We over here Googling, Travis girl. Sutton. We like, wait. Google. Yeah, Google. I want you to Google. I want you to Google. All right? I want you to Google. Okay? So Grady, right? G-R-A-D-Y? The Grady Six. It was a, a, a group of kids Children that were kidnapped that were, from I've the hospital. Before, you yeah. said the last person's yeah. name was Tavish? Okay. Tavish Sutton, right? So as soon as I clicked on that, I recognized him. Mm-hmm. Okay? As someone that I grew up with. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, Papa Leg, but what the hell? Right. What does this mean? Like, that don't have like, but that don't have nothing to do with me. He said, look at the composite sketch. If you look at the composite sketch, you're going to see one that has a slender face. Mm-hmm. If you're Googling right now, yeah, you'll see right one now. that has a, a slender face. Okay, you'll see one that has a slender face, right? Mm. With the earrings. They're like pyramid looking like earrings, right? Yes, 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 yes. It's a sketch right there by your thumb, Austin. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I see it now. Oh. Okay, so that is, that's the person that died. In my family. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. Right? I'm going to find this. I'm going to let you finish. It's, it's the Grady Six kidnapping, George. This is a little too juicy. All right. This is very juicy. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's your aunt. <laughs> okay. So, so the aunt yes, did. that's the, my the aunt. aunt that's did. who died. You went wow. back for it and everybody act like they didn't know who you were when you went back for a funeral. Yes. Right, right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. So... That's the funeral. It was it was her, right? And that's the person that was in my room with Papa Legba, right? Mm-hmm. And Papa Legba was telling me that they kidnapped me too, right? So I realized that I realized that that's my auntie in the composite sketch. I grab wow. her obituary, okay? I grab her obituary because she just died, and I compare the two pictures, and I'm like, what the? F-? I'm, I'm like, what in the what in the world? You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? Right? And um, and um, I'm like, okay, so that's my auntie, and I asked them, okay, so if I look and I look for ki- missing child flyers, I'm going to find myself on a missing child flyer because I know I know this kid, right? Mm-hmm. And Papa Legba says, yes, right? So he told me to look for missing child flyers, but I'm discombobulated at this point. Right. At this point, yeah, I'm like, discombobulated. That's enough, right? Right? that's enough for tonight. <laughs> right. My daughter's in here, okay? My daughter was here, too. I have I had three children with me at the time, my two sons mm-hmm. and my daughter. My daughter's the one who actually found the flyer, right? So she just came into the living room, like, calm down, Mom. It's okay. okay? <laughs> but um, so she was 16 at the time. My daughter was, right? So I'm mm-hmm. discombobulated at that moment. And I look, and I start looking in St. Louis. And he's like, Papa Leg was like, no, I, I directed you to Atlanta. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So... I get frustrated and I call my daughter. My daughter's like, "Okay, mom, I'm gonna look." She found it within three minutes. I uh, wow. yeah, I mean, hold on. What was the Google yeah. search that she put in to find your flyer? Miss, she's right here, she, but she typed in "missing children in in Atlanta," and they didn't tell me my name. They told me what it started with. Okay, they told me it started with a letter A because I'm a medium, right? Mm-hmm. So they told me it started with a letter A. So it turns out <laughs> that I am. Adult missing child, Alicia Smiley. Okay. Uh, wait, say that. That again? was a child that got kidnapped. Adult missing child, Alicia Smiley. Alicia Smiley. So, Alicia Smiley. A L I S O. Wow. I think, I think I just pulled it up. Right? Yeah, George has it too. Is this is this you like a okay. like a little like side smile uh, photo? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's me when I was when I was three years old. They kidnapped me when I was three years old. Oh, wow. Right? Oh my God. So that's, wait. But listen, but wait, but wait, I have a playlist because I'm telling you this, right, with no evidence. There is a playlist on my YouTube, and I'm not trying to get no plugs or nothing, but I just want y'all to fact check no, me, okay? Yeah, yeah. There's a playlist, a playlist on my YouTube. So I have the composite sketch, right? And then I have a picture of my auntie in the video. It's a video called DNA Results, right? Is that the name of it? Hold on. What's your, what's your face? Or not your face, but girl, I'm discombobulated. My YouTube. What's your YouTube? What's your YouTube? If you YouTube? just type in Alicia Smiley on YouTube. Just type in Alicia Smiley on YouTube. Oh, it's going to be the second video. Okay. Hold on. I'm this stressed. Can we drop the rest of the car? Uh, the rest of the car? Like, <laughs> it's grounded. a playlist. There's a playlist. There's a playlist, and there's going to be one with DNA results. DNA so results hashtag justice for Alicia Smiley. Smiley. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's me. Right. <laughs> okay. So not only do <laughs> I have a composite sketch, and then I have a picture of her in the composite sketch, right? This has been my auntie all my life. When I went to the funeral, there was only one picture of me, and there was like a million pictures of everybody else. Mm-hmm. And the only picture of me that they had at the funeral was me in lilac ribbons and gold earrings. That's the that's what the child came up missing in, right? Oh, wow. That's the only picture that was of me in the funeral. Like I was wondering, like why wasn't I included? You know how they have the memory boards 
of your family. Everybody else was in there, but there was only one picture. And the only picture that was in there was a picture of her in the picture with me, right? This is a one in a million photo. Mm -hmm. And I have lilac ribbons and gold earrings in my hair, right? And she's wanted for someone that's kidnapping in the Grady Six, and I'm matching the description of a missing child. And we're in the same in the oh 80s. Gosh. Wow. Oh, my But that's gosh. not it. Let me say one more thing. I have all the identifying marks. There's a gap at the bottom of my teeth. Right eye discoloration. I put it all in the video. Wow. And we're over here. We're like, because we. I think we only, I don't think we have a lot of callers, but we're going to circle back and watch, uh, yeah. watch that. I'm stressed for you. Like I, th this, this is why we do this show because yeah. it's not just, this is, this is the most like borderline true crime, like material yeah. right now. This is like, but it's spiritual because it's, Papa yeah. Legba came to and people always, okay. So let me tell you something about Papa Legba. He usually comes to you whenever you're at a crossroad in your life. And I don't know what was going on mm -hmm. um, at that time, but if, for him to come forth and be like, this is what's going on, and I'm going to take you. I know people, which I've only encountered Papa Legba in my sleep, and, like, right. between me astral traveling and, like, sleep paralysis. But not clear like that. No, but I know people that have yeah. um, that have done that, and they usually are at a cross. Usually mediums. I'm not a medium. Right. Um, This is crazy. Do you feel like, we put it up on the screen, there is a little bit of a delay. Do you feel like you look like this? That I want y'all to look at the video, and I want y'all to tell oh, me. Oh, yes. So which one? Is, we're looking at the video, and that's why I'm like... Okay, so there's a playlist. There's a playlist, right? Mm -hmm. And as soon as it's you click on it, it's just going to go through the story of the missing child. And then I'm going to start showing you all the parts. I'm going to show you my auntie, because all y'all can see right now is her composite sketch. Mm -hmm. I have an actual What's picture of her. YouTube channel yeah. name again? Just... It is I put it Truth in the... Gang, Soul Tribe. Nine nine nine. Yeah, Truth Gang, one word, and then Soul Tribe, S O L Tribe, and then Space Nine Nine Nine. Baby, I never yep, expected this. Girl. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, yeah, wait a minute, because you know, on my channel, we talk about, uh, you know, I always start the intro. My name is Noah. On this channel, we talk about death, true crime, and I never get any really. Which there's a lot of good true crimes, but I'll be looking for stories like this, where <laughs> it's spiritual and true crime as well, because yeah. there's a lot of things. That people don't understand because what would be the odds? What are the odds that a yeah. spirit comes to you? <laughs> the case who are in and it's so funny because Papa Lega yeah. is he loves children. He's like the protector over them. Like my kid could Oh, right there. See, so she yeah. so she put me in 1995, 1985, I think. And and this is absolutely insane. That do you see my aunt? And then do you see the composite actress? Kids? I'm not sure. Okay, so that was that's who I was last seen with, the actress from To Kill a Mockingbird. That's wow. who I was last seen with. And you were in Atlanta, right? Yeah. So that's her now. Features are still identical. Yeah. 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 Do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. You just were a baby. That's all. The baby version mm -hmm. of the, the picture that we're seeing. That's crazy. This is insane. Please email me. <laughs> Please Somebody email. just said they I, I were will. born at Grady like, House. I found you, like... Uh, yeah, that was just place. like the aunt. Wait, wait, wait. Go back, George. Oh, oh right there. She has oh, the... Okay, okay. My God. George, pause it, pause it. Yeah, you're going to have to show it. Yeah, wow. please. Wow. They even have her lipstick on there. They even have her lipstick. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. that's her. <laughs> yep, that's her. It's wow. just a composite. Brown chin and everything. Yep. That's her. In the most polite way, this is the craziest story we've ever... Yeah, heard on the show. When we heard some crazy ones, but we, and, you never... and, and it's not like we've we've had not home runs, but this is this Insane. is next level. Like this is she... oh. episode. Yeah, she could have. <laughs> That's why I say email me, please. <laughs> um, because I definitely will. I hope I find. I don't even know how I found you. You just came on my YouTube feed oh my like gosh. one day, and I was just like, I like her. And Spirit was like, you need to you need to get in contact with her. Are please. you in the chat, so are you in the chat right now? Uh, yes. Her daughter is. I think your daughter just joined the, the Discord, too. Yes, please put your, yes, like. Yes, that's my baby. She yes, did. please put your username in there so I can go subscribe. But I would, I would love, love, love Or Lauren, to... Lauren, if you can, go ahead and drop uh, drop the email for, yeah. for her so yep. we can this, make sure to This is to insane. Leave. Like, it's, it's literally insane. But... Um, it, like I said, it's just so funny that Papa Legba, are you initiated? 
No. Okay. So I'm, I don't want to say self-initiated. The spirits came to me. I even have a video on my channel, my mm-hmm. experience. If you just Google Papa Legba, my video will probably mm-hmm. pop up. You should okay. like what Papa like, but my experience where I was just visited by him yeah. years before where he just came into my room. I'm able to see spirits standing in front of me, ancestors, loved ones, even like their outfits that they yeah. were buried in. Yeah. You know, it, you're not the first, second or 10th person that I've heard of this uh, because it's not like you're actively seeking them. Um, it, it's because Sounds like you he needed are, to tell yes, you though. And whenever you are of African descent, whenever we, you know, you're black. So it comes down to, our spirits yeah. are always going to just because we're not initiated and we didn't make uh, that journey back over to Nigeria or wherever to Caribbean to be initiated. The spirits are still they still own our head. They're still the the mm-hmm. guardians over us, even though we're not initiated, if that makes sense. The initiation process is put there just so that um, spirit is appeased. There's levels to this shit that go back thousands of years. You know, that's that's not it. But whenever it comes down to it, they will visit because whenever yeah. I encountered Papa Legba, I was not initiated. And I was just like, okay, well, this is random. <laughs> like, well, hello, sir. Yeah. What's up? You know? So it's very, very telling. Like, like I said, at a crossroad, a child um, that was stolen. And Papa, don't, Papa Legba do not play about your kids. He does not. He loves children. Right. He's depicted as a child and an old wise man. So I, I have a, I have a few additional questions. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, sure, sure. <laughs> so since then, have you been in contact with your biological family? Oh my god. Okay, so there's a part three to the video, right? <laughs> okay. So I told you guys okay. the there's a part three. Okay, there's a part three. So the same video that you guys are looking at, right. um, I posted it on Facebook, and my biological family did find me right wow. and then i put i put i name all the people that actually kidnapped me because they are police officers and stuff and i'm trying to save my life you know so i yeah. actually name names and put the people out there in the video who actually took me mm-hmm. and one of the cousins that wasn't even born when all of this stuff happened decided that she was going to reach out to the kidnapper family and they told the kidnapper family that well the kidnapper family told them that i was lying and that you know i have mental issues because I said I'm this missing child, but the evidence is there. Yeah. And I tell them, okay, let's you do know? a DNA test. I mean, it, that's, you can nip it all in the bud right now. Right. You know, um, so I, they'll never I want y'all to watch part three. I, well, that's what I'm saying. I told, I want you guys to watch part three as well, because I want y'all to count how many times I offer DNA. Like that broke my heart. Like it was, I don't even know. Like right. I have, I have no idea why they did that or whatnot, but that just kind of let me know, like, you don't need them in your life. Yeah. I just need justice for me and then also my children because I birthed children under a false identity. They told me that I was three years younger than what I actually wow. am. Oh you, like, yes. All of my children have their ha, their birth certificates has a false mother's name on there. Oh, so wow. this is like my legacy. Right. And that's important to you because you need to, they need to know and you deserve to know. You know, people... If you didn't offer these people a, a DNA test several times and the, the answer is always no, you're crazy, then you already know what it is. You already know what it is. Well, they, the family didn't call me crazy. The, they reached, one of the cousins reached out to the, the, the kidnapper family because I named names. So they went on Facebook and found the people that I said that kidnapped me. And okay. she said, well, I didn't think that you would tell them the truth because that's your family. Why would you say that your family did that to you? <laughs> like, that's what she was saying. Mm-hmm. So she kind of like, ruined any opportunity for us to have a relationship because I've already been traumatized because of the things that I've been through. And then this is how you react. And you're the one who say that you're missing the child. Right. If you guys watch part three, you guys are going to see everything. I'm going to break down everything for you guys. Mm. That is insane. Probably the absolutely the craziest call yeah. we've gotten. And Oh, God bless you. Email me please. Because I will. <laughs> I would love, 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 love just to. Um, we gotta shed some light on this story. Yeah, yeah. I posted crazy. the link in the in the chat in on the Calls from Beyond channel for people to go watch that video. But mm-hmm. yeah, no, please email me, and we're gonna catch up in another way off here because I would love to share it. Yeah. And you know, that's all I do is share stories. But thank you for calling. I'm like, please, my email is the Black Cauldron without a. a at gmail.com without a in the culture. And then you can find it on my channel too. Okay. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you guys thank you. so much for allowing so me to share so my story. Thank you so much for calling in. Absolutely. And 
you guys you guys have a great night thank right, you, you as well. well all right bye-bye bye god damn how the, she said how the hell do we take a call oh my god this, he bro. had to rub his bald head that stressed him out that is Man. crazy that is insane yeah